So this one, this video here, let's take a look at dividing a fraction by a whole number. So that might be the fraction 1 half divided by, let's say, 3. So that's a fraction. We're going to divide that by a whole number. So we remember from our little models, this represented the fraction, or sorry, this represented 1. So this would then represent a half, because it's half of the whole. And I want to take that half, and I want to divide it by 3. So I, that means I've got to take that half and divide it by 3. So there's the half, and I've split it into three parts. So these are the same thing. One half, when you divide it into 3, are equal to one of these pieces. And you remember from our little legend that 1 half divided by 3, if that's equal to a green triangle, is the same thing as 1 sixth. Because remember, this was a whole, that's 1. This represents a half. These represent a sixth, because it takes six of those to make up a whole. And then the other tile we had, or the wooden block, were these ones. These represented thirds, because when you put three of them together, they equaled a whole one. So if this represents one, this is a half, the blue one was a third, and these ones are a sixth. So one half divided by three equaled one sixth. Now how about a third divided by two? So we're going to start with a third. Well, if this is a whole here, so that represents one, then remember these represent a third, because they're a third of the whole block. So we're going to start with this, that's a third, and we have to divide that into two pieces. Well, it looks like if I take the one third and divide it into two pieces, I'm left with one of these triangle pieces, which we know is one sixth. So 1 third divided by 2, we'd be breaking that down. Now it's 1 sixth. Now, it gets a bit trickier. Let me clear that off there. It gets a bit trickier when we have something like 1 third divided by 3. Because we know this typically represents a third, because that was a third of a whole. But you can't divide. We don't have tiles to split that up into three pieces. We can split it into two pieces. These two here we could split into two, but we can't take that piece and split it into thirds. So what we could do is we could start with something like this. And we could say, okay, that is going to represent one whole. So let's say three of these things here those three represent one whole. So if those three, if this here represents one, then now this tile here would represent one third, because there's three of those that are making up one whole. So now this tile is one third. And I need to take that and divide that by three. So. We can see that. These things never want to sit on here. All right, I've done some engineering to my surface here now. These things should stay on here better. There, you should be able to see now that, yes, three of those will fit around this one-third tile. So what I need to do is figure out what that blue one represents. Well. If we put these on here, because this is rep this th these three yellow tiles represent one, right? Let's see how many of those it takes to fill it up. So it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tiles, nine of these blue ones to fill up one hole. So if nine of those make up one hole, then each one of these would represent one ninth of the hole. So I've got one, two, three, making up my one-third. So each one 
I got to remember this was our third here now. This yellow tile here represented one third. So I've taken that, and when I take the one third and I divide it by three, that's these three here. When I divide it by three, each one, this one, would represent one ninth. So one third divided by three. Here was the one third tile. When I divide it into three pieces, I get one of these blue ones. And a blue one we now know is the same thing as one ninth. So that's how we can divide fractions by a whole number. And again, I encourage you to get the models and play around with them. Um, and so that you understand what's happening when we're taking fractions and dividing them by whole numbers.